up, Whitey Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's Manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Vigilante's Book on Hero Academia Legals Chapter 96. So, ooh, things are getting very interesting up in this manga because one, we saw that the knuckles are missing. Yep. Someone broke into Koichi's home and took them knuckles, and he thinks that knuckle duster is coming back. And I really, really, I, I really hope that I'm right and that knuckle duster is coming back, or I will be fucking pissed that, um, that, uh, Furuhashi and Betancourt tease me. Um, the other thing that we got going on here is, um, is the hunt on vigilantes has really begun. Like, what the fuck? Don't hunt them vigilantes. Leave them alone, especially with what's going on in Boku no Hero Academia, which I'm still mad that Horikoshi has not brought vigilantes up in that, in that manga. I don't understand why we haven't gotten vigilantes up in that manga yet, but seriously. <sighs> Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Negotiations. Ooh, God, Betancourt, this art is gorge. Really love it. I love um, the use of lighting in particular with the sunset. Mm, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, here we go. Um, um, hello, any word on what happened with Pop after all that? Oh, more of you, huh? More of us? What's that mean? Ah, um, pardon me, I was told to inquire about, uh, pop here at Hoppers. Ah, more of us. Um, according to Midnight, uh, Miss Pop's not getting worse, but she's not getting better either. And apparently the crueler is out, uh, there doing all he can. Look, keys. Midnight also said you kids shouldn't worry yourself sick. We'll get, uh, we'll get the word out if there's an update. Go home and get back to studying. Of course we don't want to intrude on your business. Uh, let's all call it a day, okay? Well, since you're already here, why not have a bite to eat? It's on the house this time. Aww. Keys, though! There's so many keys! Until things settle down in this town, we ain't getting any, um, we ain't getting many customers. I'm telling you! Horikoshi! Oh, oh, speaking of keys! Hi, Key! What are you doing? Zeno! Come here! Here's my assistant. You came at the perfect time, Zeno. Um, let's see. It's all bad for business. We might even close, shop, uh, close up shop for a while. Well, now that the big mess is, uh, is over, we just gotta take our time to rebuild. Over? Yeah, hopefully. I'm carrying two phones now. Use this one to um, get in touch. That's what he told me. I only turn on my old phone once a day. Let's see. Ah, oh, a million missed calls from mom. Huh? Text from dad? They talked once after the incident. What's going on? Need help with anything? All good here. We'll talk um, once things calm down. Um, take care of mom. Got it. Hey, got food, Koichi. Oh, cool. Gonna toss it. Wait, no, I'll be right over. Huh? You're just flying all over the place now, huh? Eh? Oh. How's it looking down on the ground? Same old, same old. The whole stakeout thing every day, and they got me running errands. I'm kind of over it already. Um, not, not that I'll admit it. So to get uh, get mad and be all, get a grip. So, so serious, that punk. Where is Soga? Um, I didn't see him down there. He's over at your place, actually. Leaving me alone, really? Um, I told him there'd be a break in. Um, uh, sorry, I told him uh, there'd been a, a break in, so he wanted I wanted to check it out. Ooh, a break in? No one told me. Uh, um, a break in at my place? No one told me. Oh right, it'll just be a distraction for Koichi, so don't tell him. That's what he said. Fucking <laughs> told him, you dumbass. It's a secret. It's a secret, Kay. Um, sure. Now's not the time to worry about any of that. Um, anyhow, did how did no one did did, did no one notice that the knuckles were missing? Um, and besides, I've got nothing worth stealing. The knuckles, though. The knuckles, though. 
They're buying up property left and right around here with plans to redevelop the whole area. So Koichi's the only renter left in this old building. The place is basically abandoned. Not likely target for your average sneak thief. The perp broke the glass and got inside through the window, but there's no sign that they ran ransacked the room. They must have come for something specific. How did they not... So how did you not notice the knuckles missing, you dumbass? Based on the dust pattern, someone's been in and out of here. Something stashed um, over in the corner of this empty space. Maybe just bulky trash left behind by the last occupant? No, it looks like it was brought in recently. What's in there? Um, Mayura, what's up? Soga, they're here. The cops! Oh, shit! Uh, Soga Kugasaki, starting today, we'll be in charge of security for this hospital ward. No co no complaints from you, from you, I assume? And as witnesses to the serial bombings, you're going to cooperate with our investigation. You boys in blue are beefing up security? Yeah, co yeah, of course I'm fine with that. I'm just a civilian after all, so if, you, if the pros want to do their jobs, I'm down. Yeah, seriously, why the fuck haven't you guys been beefing up security anyway? Why do they have to do it? But, you people sure dragged your feet before making this move. Honestly, too slow for my taste. Plus, it could take weeks, maybe even months for Pop to make a full recovery. You prepared to, uh, to devote your resources for that long? Ooh, hold on. I gotta read this whole thing again, because Soga told... He totally got them there. He totally got the motherfuckers there. Um, I'm gonna read this again. Soka Kikusaki, starting today, will be in charge of security for this hospital ward. No complaints from you, I assume. And as witnesses to the serial bombings, you're going to cooperate with our investigation. You boys are in blue are beating up security? Yeah, of course I'm fine with that. I'm just a civilian after all, so if the bros want to do their jobs, I'm down. But you people sure dragged your feet before making this move. Honestly, too slow for my taste. Plus, it could take weeks, maybe even months for Pop to make a full recovery. You prepared to devote your resources for that long? Well, um, sure, sure. You got your rules and regulations, I know. And it's not like you, um, you could spare infinite resources on a single girl who's getting the villain treatment to boot, which is why I am prepared to hand over the reins completely. You cops are set up to keep the peace in general, and sure... I can't deny that's a worthy cause, but your big ol' system ain't made to catch the stuff that falls through the cracks. Ooh! Ooh! Saga getting them! Yeah! Saga! My man! He fucking got them good! He caught them good! That's my boy right there! See, that's what these motherfuckers don't get! They don't get that shit. And that's why I'm like, that's why I'm really pissed off that Horikoshi hasn't brought in the vigilantes yet. Why? Why haven't you brought the vigilantes yet? I, and I know that we saw, and yes, I know we saw Stain um, a, a few chapters ago. Yes, we did. Why haven't we seen him more? I want to, uh, and maybe we will see him in, um, in but I should have mentioned that in my book on here Academia Live reaction. I think we will see him. Because remember, remember what Stain said. He said that he wanted to show who the real heroes are. Not these motherfuckers who are doing it for the fame. Anyway. I don't disagree, which is why we've got to have each other's backs in all this. Try to cooperate with the police for now, and later we can discuss a long-term security plan. Um, sorry, but this isn't up for debate. Not anymore. What the fuck? Midnight is right, bro. Like, what is your problem? Koichi, um, Haimawari, aka the Crawler, he's wanted for repeated unauthorized quirk use, and we've got a warrant for his arrest. Giving him the villain treatment too, huh? Like, dude, he saved your ass. He's doing your job. He's given us no choice. Left to his own devices, it's likely that he'll encounter a real villain, one with violent intentions, which could lead to a battle. You don't think he's prepared for that? And also, don't you think he's already dealt with that, you stupid fucks? I know he and he is, and that's the problem. Call him up and get him over here right now. Otherwise, we'll t have to take him by in by force. So be it. Moyuru, well, call Koichi for me. He better not be sleeping. Give him a wake-up call. All right. Wake-up call. Whoa! 
Listen up, Koichi. If you hear a wake-up alarm ringtone coming from that phone, it means we've got an emergency. And that means you got to haul ass and lie low until um, I can contact you again. Yikes! Oh, after... Oh, dude! Saga is sneaky! Saga is sneaky! He is ready for everything! He, dude, he's not giving you Koichi! Koichi ain't going with you, you stupid fucks! After I'm half of you with me! Wait! Your men are here on a security detail. You agreeing to guard the hospital is why we're cooperating. Uh, hey, you flatfoot, <laughs> hey, you flatfoot sticky cat, you can catch me. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry about him. <laughs> hey, you flatfoot sticky can catch me. And I must say, Detective Sakachi, you make a terrible negotiator. I know that. <laughs> it's Sakachi, the operation is a go. Uh, the talks broke down, I take it. Control room here, ready to deploy. Roger that. <gasps> no, the goal of this mission is uh, the capture of the high-speed villain known as the Crawler. Engineum, deploy. No! Dude, Engineum. Oh, jeez. Engineum has worked with, um, I think Engineum. Yeah, Engineum has seen Koichi before. Ooh, this is gonna get very interesting. What Engineum Engineum is gonna defy them? He not go do this shit. And you know what? I'm gonna say this. We have seen we're seeing something like this actually in um in a way in Jujutsu Kaisen. It's not as corrupt as the, as what we're seeing in Vigilantes though. Jujutsu Kaisen is like next level corruption. It is. But we are, what, what's going on here is very much um, similar in the uh, not letting a good crisis go to waste kind of thing. Um, it really is. But man, Zukachi, like this is ridiculous, man. Midnight called your ass out. Soga called your ass out. But what was underneath that blanket? Well, slash tarp. What was underneath there? I'm telling you, Knuckle Duster gonna come into play. Engineum gonna call their asses out. I would love to see, because Engine, oh, wouldn't it be interesting if Engineum said, yeah, this dude my intern. What's it to ya? Or some shit. I wanna see what Engineum does. Engineum gonna roast them or something. When he realizes, like, he's got, Engineum has got to know, uh, well, actually, Engineum does know about Koichi. Maybe that's why Engineum took that mission. Similar to what we're, again, what we're seeing in Jujutsu Kaisen. Hmm, maybe that's what's going on. That would make a lot of sense. It's better for Engineum to take, to take, uh, um, Koichi Instead of, say, like, uh, um, uh, a more hostile villain. Or, not, yeah, I'm probably saying villain. A more hostile hero. And we all know why Aizawa didn't, they didn't send Aizawa after him. Oh, we know. Because Aizawa, you know him. And they know Aizawa working with the vigilantes. These dumbasses don't get it, though. But... Something I gotta bring up here, and I'm telling you, Furuhashi, you need to get Horikoshi on this shit. Is, and I put my tinfoil hat on this one, I think I said in my book on Hero Academia, live reaction, speaking of Aizawa. Um, Aizawa's gonna, Aizawa is gonna get the vigilantes in, on, uh, in on what's going on in Boku no Hero Academia. Aizawa gotta be doing that shit. He's got to. Because Aizawa knows about the vigilantes. He knows. Because all hope is really bleak right now. It's really bad with what's going on in Boku no Hero Academia. So Aizawa gotta let, Aizawa's gotta be the one to tell, um, or be the one to call in the vigilantes. He's gotta be. I really, I really hope I'm right on that one. I want to see Aizawa call the vigilantes up in there. Oh, man. I know, like, part of me knows that the reason why we haven't gotten, like, the vigilantes that that we've seen here in this manga up in there is because we don't know um, uh, the outcome of this manga yet. We don't know who's going to die and who's going to live. 
and all that. But, like, I just want, like, I don't give a shit if you give me new vigilantes up in, the, in that manga. I just want vigilantes up in Boku no Hero Academia already. Like, just give me fucking vigilantes already. Seriously. Seriously, for, for Hashi and Betancourt, if you want to give Horikoshi, like, ideas for vigilantes, like, go, go on ahead. Seriously. I just want me some vigilantes. And also, I want to point this out, too. And we're, again, we're seeing this in Boku no Hero Academia. We're, um, this is the problem with red tape. It's restricting quirks like this. It is. And it kind of brings up what we saw a few chapters ago about, like, the quirk psychology theory. The quirk psychological theory. And I fucking love that psychological theory on what makes a hero and what makes a villain. I feel like, again, that's gotta have to come into play in Boku no Hero Academia, for sure. And it, and it really does come into play here, if you think about it. It does. We talk about legal quirk use and all that shit. Dude... Come on, man. And you don't know shit. Koichi already did fight. Uh, already had to fight villains. Captain Celebrity can back his ass. Dude, why don't you contact Captain Celebrity? Captain Celebrity could back his ass up, too. Oh, my. Uh, wait. You know Mike could back his ass up. Like, I don't understand this. It just. Mm, mm. The thing that. Ugh, God. The thing that's going on here that's very frustrating is. Um. Is that this is just a pow this is just an ego thing. It really is. This is so straight up ego. You have Hero saying you have Midnight saying this shit. When you have you have Hero and Aizawa would be saying the same fucking thing to your ass. He would be saying the same thing, saying you got you are being dumb. We need the vigilantes to fill in the cracks because they're on the street. They know what's going on in the street. They could give us vital information that we miss. I don't know what your goddamn problem is. Fucking morons. This is some serious power trip. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys thought of this chapter. And what do you guys think about, like, especially with what Soga did. Dude, Soga, like, straight up, like, went in. I thought that was great. I love what Midnight, I love Midnight going in. And I love that, like... I love that. I love that so big. We are like more bouncing, more bouncing, and I can't wait to see what Ingenium does. And do you think Ingenium is gonna just turn Koichi in like that? I don't think so. I don't think Ingenium gonna do that. Ingenium's got Ingenium got something up his sleeve. He does, and there's a reason why he took this job. There is. Um. Yeah, what was the other thing? And what and what was in that room that we that Soga saw? Because we know that knuckle duster was the one that broke into Koichi's place and took them knuckles. Unless the only other one that would do that is Nameless Number Six. If those are the only two that I could think of that would be doing that. But I don't think Nameless Number Six don't know about the about the knuckles up in there. Nah, knuckle duster the only one that knows. That I could think of. That, that's the only thing I could think of. Anyway, let me know your, your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love it, I'm doing it. I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more to, uh, Boku no Hero Academia content. Um, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Hey, can you stop that? Um, also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.